I don't know about you or if anyone else is as crazy as I am when it's gear day. For those of you who followed, and my wife, my lovely wife, decided to shrink my merino wool blanket, or not blanket, sweater, to where it fits my seven and a half year old now. My way to get it back was to go buy a brand new T3 hoodie. <laughs> that's what we do. So that's the new hoodie. It's gear piece number one. You know you have a problem when you buy gear and you don't remember what's coming. Hey, we're doing a video up there. Hey, Tara! What's on the table over there? That, that thing right there. A shirt? A shirt. I don't think it's a shirt. Yes, it is. I, I think it's a hoodie. And what is it replacing? Another shirt. What happened to that shirt? Nothing that you need to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what's in this one. I don't even know what I got. You're doing an unboxing video? I'm doing an unboxing video. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Guys, you can dehydrate. I'm going to plug it in right now. We're going to do some dehydration. Wow. It's not an Excalibur, I know, people. I know, but the price was right. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah. Love it. Boom. Mr. Heater's uh, 10 fan with the LED light. Should go good when I do end up using a buddy heater. Um, which I'm going to get soon from you. Um, she knows who she is. Okay. There you go. Oh, empty. So, sweater replacement, a dehydrator, and an LED slash uh, fan. And some people might be like, why the heck would you use a fan winter camping? For those of you who don't know, I'm just learning myself as a newbie, but I'm going to use something like a buddy heater, or not even a buddy heater, but an electric heater, any heater of any kind. Even if you're in a hot tent, I would presume it would be great. Is heat rises, cold air sits down at the bottom. Most of us who are cold tent winter camping um, are going to be lower to the ground, even if we're on a cot. Um, yeah, the fan will help you put it on low and keeps the hot air down and um, should work a little bit better and keeping things warm in a cold tent. Um, right now, on my trip to Killarney, I'm going to be using a UCO candelier uh, so I'm hoping to kind of set that up on something uh, if anybody has any tips I, I imagine hanging it from the tent might not be a great idea but sitting it on something um, but I look forward to anybody who wants to let me know how they use their UCO candelier um, but yeah LED light and a fan the base camp from Mr. Heater and uh, the Hamilton Beach the reason why I got the Hamilton Beach I was looking at Grimia, um, Excalibur obviously is the, it's the way to go, but you also pay for it, um, and as you probably know if you've been following me on the Winter Camping Adventures or anywhere else that I post, I've bought in way too much gear already, um, but I went with it because it was reasonably priced, 70 bucks, I think it was, um, on Amazon.ca, it was the highest rated, um, best bang for the buck. I think it had like a 4.7 rating and like, can't remember which one, there was only 265 uh, reviews and then another with like 700 and something. And I can't remember which one was which, but that's the reasoning. And uh, I think I might get this ripping and roaring tonight or tomorrow. And anyhow, gear day. Hope you approve of some of my stuff anyways. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and, uh, and if you like what you're getting, then feel free to like it. If not, I am always open to learning. I don't know anything about winter camping, even RVing, uh, camping in general. I'm learning as I go. I'm a newbie just like most of the people. So, um, yeah, look forward to seeing how this goes. Take care.